Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sanjo, and welcome back to Persona 4, where we last left off. The feels. But anyway, Nanako is doing is a, according to the game fine now. Uh, there's been a little bit of a horrible issue that she temporarily went. Uh, I don't know how to word that. Went to the great, went into heaven, and then returned. Be I say, I, I guess again, but regardless, there's one other thing I like to point out. I meant, I think I pointed this out recently too. Recently in the last, and, and I, I pointed this out in the last video too. But it seems that Adachi made a little fucky wucky, to borrow the words of um. Elliot from SJV, S S J B S G B Jesus, help me. Adachi Smith let slip that it was going to ha it was going to be hard to put charges of murder by shoving people into the TV. Now here's the thing: how would Adachi know that? We as as far as I know. Throughout the, as far as we know, throughout the majority point of, of the game, we have never mentioned any detail of that to the police. If anything, it's Dojima, and I don't think he would even mention that to Adachi. So yeah, uh, so yeah, we already basically proved that Adachi is the now main killer. Or at least, until we're proven wrong, that is. That thought's gonna be stick in my hand, and look at that, it's a Katatsu. Or Katats. I don't know. Sometimes it's weird when it comes to certain uh, words in Japanese when they have the U in them. Sometimes they pronounce it, sometimes they don't. So who knows? Maybe it's pronounced Kotatsu. I'm gonna go with that. But anyway, um, not really much going on here. Uh, up until worried about Nanako. And what happened in Namatame's room as well? Snow has begun to fall, and the fog has completely enveloped the town. What's going to happen? You feel exhausted. It would be best if you went to bed early, sleep. But yeah, yeah, I think it's it's going to be pretty clear that the main, the true villain of the game is going to be probably Adachi, most likely. This. Welcome. Hello, Igor. It's been quite some time. Yes, indeed it has. It seems you have been summoned to the Velvet Room. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I was kind of hoping so, to be honest. I have summoned you within your dreams. Summoned you within the bathroom because apparently you're asleep. I summoned you within while you were in the bathroom. Why were you sleeping in the bathroom? Would you not? Wait, wait, what? How do you know I was sleeping in the bathroom? Do not ask the questions you don't want the answer to. Okay. No. I can solve it. Splendid. Hey, we got this far. The precise destination of this vehicle. Well, that too is getting rather hard to judge. Uh oh. If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on our journey? Show. Okay. All right. The voice you've heard many times before echoed in your head. Ah! Yeah, well, I quit pretending. You are experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. Oh, wait, wait. Where did I quit pretending? All right. Let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. Oh. We leave any unanswered questions behind. We'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Mm. Right, together. We 
with students who had contacts with you as well. Those headed in the same direction keep his things far. Hmm. See, his car stopped moving. Huh? We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. Okay. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great change in your life. Huh. Though there isn't much time left, it can be worth your while to take the time to study and reflect. Hmm. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream, but all who pass through it are affected differently. Mm. Some travel fast, some change their course, experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time. Mm. Just so. All right. The state of this room reflects the seal of your heart. Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation. Hmm. This data you hear someone in the dumping in the distance. What? Who who rang my bell? Who rang a lang a lang a lang lang at the doorstep? I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Go away! Uh, it seems you have been sleeping until now. You hear a door hear the doorbell ringing. It seems someone aims to be at someone seems to be at the door. Will you stop pressing the damn button? Oh, that's okay. Oh shit! Oh, that's right. That's what happened last time too. Teddy went bye bye for some reason. Hey, luck. I no shit, man. Where could Teddy have gone? In any case, you decided to go look for him. Damn. It's no use, man. We can't find him. Shit. No luck for me either. I didn't sense anything over there. The fog's so dense, it might be affecting my readings. Shit. I wish I could do better. I'm sorry. No. Oh. Ted. Tell me he really went back to his world this time. I don't know. He told him over and over that he could stay here. You recall a mysterious dream you have had last night. This may be the time for contemplation rather than action. This is what Igor said, but... Think about this. I guess that's all we can do right now. The plays don't alive, but he's attached to us deep down. He wouldn't disappear without saying anything, right? Oh, mm -mm. I don't think so. I'm worried I would think so. Himself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. It won't be long before Namatami is transferred to another location. We must hurry. Or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on us. You know, I've been thinking about the case since, but something just doesn't seem right. Let's quickly review the facts. Yeah. Of all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yamano, the announcer, and Saki-san. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. It was only when he took Nanako John that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. Uh huh, sure, but that's. When I hear you put it like that, sounds like the dude's guilty. Yeah, but unfortunately, Adachi let something slip, and that's pretty sure saying that, yeah, the only thing that Namatame is technically guilty of is the attempt murder of Nanako. As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a near copycat killer. Yeah, that's true. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? Yeah. That's what's bothering me. And he didn't really have one. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. I agree. You lost me. 
you need what's with all the animals barking today what's with all the animals and shit very weird to hear like a bunch of barking out here and whatnot um, must be a, must have new neighbors or something oh well but it's kind of she's trying to say that if namatame is sane then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet hmm like a third party Probably actually. I don't think there's any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them into the TV. I think it's possible that. Could he mean saving them through death? I don't think so. He did call himself a savior and said that the other side is a wonderful world. No, it's not. So they'll be saved if they die? What a bunch of crap! The bastard should have gone and saved himself. I don't. What do you think, Senpai? Hmm. There's something else. You think about it normally, it's gotta be him. But there ain't nothing normal about that world anyway. So dude, you get shoved into a TV. You, dude, you're getting shoved into a TV. I don't think that's shoved into a TV and going straight to another world. I don't think normal is applied. There's something I've been wondering about for a while. Oh, yeah, what's that? Are you dead? Wouldn't he actually have failed to save us? You raise a good point. If he thinks that salvation comes only through death, his words to us make no sense. I think it's... Uh... And another thing. The Namatame who appeared on the Midnight Channel said he failed to save Nanako-chan. Hmm. Well, maybe he really was trying to save the victims by putting them inside the TV. Huh. Well, yeah. Well, you may not be far from the truth, to be honest, although I think he may have been manipulated into it. The possibility that he truly intended to save us. But he's still the one who threw in Saki Senpai in that announcer, right? That's the issue. He would know all, would he know all this right from the get-go? I don't think so. Sure, he hasn't nailed down his motives, but that doesn't change the fact that he killed them. But is he? What? The possibility the culprit was tongue twisters. Uh, or just a moral. Yeah. Let me stop. The possibility of a culprit besides Namatame. Could there be something that proves this possibility? Namatame's diary, the copycat murder. Is Suzu Haragi's um Wait, is it possible he's been told something? Let's check the diary. There could be something in there. But that point straight at Namatame. Come on, no. man. I'm talking about like are we actually looking through okay. Hmm. Copycat murder, the warning letter. I would dare go with the alibi of the warning letter. Considering apparently everybody says, oh, the diary says otherwise. I mean, come on, man. He could have wrote something saying like he was told that the power he has, he has a power that could save people. How would he know? Just, uh, me thinking outside the box, Jesus. I mean, he had a warning. I mean, I got a warning letter, but is that really it? I want a Misuzuo Haragi's alibi. Warning letter or the alibi? I want to say the. What's what about the alibi? Curious. For alibi, it's in an airtight right from the beginning. Let's just make sure. How could she kidnap people and throw them into TVs if she's at the country? Oh, well, just covering the basis. Okay. Jesus Christ! The warning letter then. Oh God. Let's review them. 
You recall that the first warning letter said, don't rescue any more. The second one said, if you don't stop this time, someone close will be put in and killed. Yes, oh, that's right. I should have known that. That's right. It's, I've been blanking on that. I'm not lying. Isn't that kind of odd? Yeah. Now Matami says he saves people. Would someone who thinks he's saving people by killing them write stuff like don't rescue or kill? I'm being serious, but seriously, though, I already know who it is. It's I'm pretty sure everyone out in the audience knows who the real killer is. I hope you all know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And the movie you put in the kill part does make, make sense. sense. Yeah. If the killer was writing it, would it be more like I'll put it in kill? Hey, could this mean? He'd be manipulating. Namatama didn't write it. That's obvious. The third party. But ah, but ah, see, that's the kicker. There's only one other person besides Namatame. There's only two people, not counting Namatame, who would know the location of Dojima's house. Dojima is himself, and as we all know, that Dojima is a nervous wreck when it that when it, when no Anako got involved. All then. You know, if you want to remind me of the feels. And Adachi, who, again, I like to mention, made a fucky wucky and said something about going inside the TV. Someone else that could only mean... Third party individual. Dear God. Since this is such an unusual case, I was absolutely convinced that other than the Kubo incident, there was one culprit. So, Namatame really was trying to save his victims? Everything is exactly the opposite of what it first seemed. Ah, so it's like kind of Suba. <laughs> yeah, everything's all good. You got guys to help you, except she's useless. In Namatame's parlance, saving would have been the first two cases when the victims died. If he had used his method twice, and failed both times, he would hardly have continued using the TV. And yet, he did. To, he had nothing to do with the two killings. to suggest that someone else wrote this mm. warning letter while observing the entire case. Yeet. Someone else? Then, it wasn't Namatame that killed Saki Senpai, the announcer? No shit! That was what we were trying to prove here, man. We can't say for certain yet. We urgently need Face to face. Uh, that's assuming he's willing to talk. You'll we'll work together to take another step towards the truth. Towards the truth. Ah! My eyes! Secrets of Truth, rank 2. Or, er, Judgment Arc should increase. Okay, Secrets of Truth, social link, reach link, rank 2. Try to create personas of the Judgment Arc on a throne! Hello. After what happened yesterday, they said they're gonna tighten security. Fuck, 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 fuck! You have a plan, you say? Alright, let's see what this plan is. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Hey, this place is off limits. Oh. I'm a consultant with the police. I'd like a few words with Namatami's son. May I go in? This is Unit 252, requesting confirmation on an ID. Hmm. Mmm. Mm, thank you, not Alto. Well, you're on the list. Yay. I can give you a few minutes, but I'll have to record your conversation with him for security purposes. Not that I expect to get anything coherent out of the guy. He's been spouting nothing but gibberish. That's fine. I'd like him to accompany me as well. He has no identification, but this is an emergency situation. And he's here in Detective Dojima's stead. Uh. I'll vouch for his identity. Well, I guess it's better than dealing with the man himself. 
Maybe committing murder elsewhere. Mm. I'm joking. Maybe I don't know. Ways of this investigations. Thank you, Naoto. Everything's on the time based decision. Fuck. Hey. Hey, yo. Now, Tommy, son, there's something we'd like to ask you. Calm down, dude. We want your answers, and that's it. It's tempting to think that you were the culprit behind this entire case. But we know that's not and true. To be honest, there are many in this town who hope you are. But we are here to learn the truth. So please, answer our questions. Yes, the truth. As soon as he understands what you're saying, what should you ask him? Who did you throw in first? That'd be my question. Yukiko. Huh? Me? Oh yeah, see? Mm. What did you ask him? Did you kill the two girls? Uh-huh. Alright. What should you ask him? Is killing saving people? This should be obvious! No. No. If nobody saves them, they'll be killed. Yeah, he... yeah. That's why I put them in there. He doesn't know that the TV is also a source of death. He just thought that putting them in there is their safety. If you net. Oops. Then tell me if my estimation is correct so far. After discovering the Yamano and Konishi incidents, you realized an appearance on the Midnight Channel meant certain death. To save her from that fate, you kidnapped Yukiko Amazon. You couldn't let her be killed, so you threw her into the TV, preventing the killer in this world from reaching her. And you repeated the process as more individuals appeared on the Midnight Channel. Ah! It all falls into place. His body is weak, but his mind is sound. He's trying to tell us the truth. Thank you. Yes. There's another killer who murdered the first two victims? Well, there's such an absurd Jacketh Athis who did the copycat. Indulge us in a few more questions. What should you ask him? Who killed the first two? Uh, just in case. I have no idea. I want to know that too. Ah, figures. So he wants a question for the question. Why the warning letters? Let me guess, he hasn't written any warning letters. What are you talking about? Thought so. Okay, what okay, yeah, this is a good question. Why did you enter the TV? I didn't know. Oh.
So far, you ain't spouting shit. We have ink. Well, not yet. Although I have, although the inklings are there. Yes. Remember, we dove in there. Yeah, we dove in there after you to get Nanako. Of course we could! We did blame you for everything at first. But now I think we can accept whatever you got to tell us as truth. Please. Please give us some more of your time. We would like to know more about this truth. More or less. I mean, it's not like we got anything else to do. Come on now. Yay. Alright. Let's see where this goes. Ah, shit. Proceeds to drink and ink into depression. I started drinking heavily to drown my anxiety. Thought so. I haven't been able to reach my enemy at all. And that didn't help either. My enemy, where are you? She'd been disgraced on all the afternoon shows, forced to resign from the program she was on. Those things about sticks hand in there. When I reached out unthinkingly to touch her, Yeah, there it is. My arm disappeared into the TV. As if I had dipped it into a pool of water. I was so shocked that I lost my balance and nearly fell face first into the TV. Huh. Neat. When my Umi, Umi was confirmed dead. Yep. Yeet. Namatama is casting his eyes downward, downward painfully. Job and I wanted to know the truth of my own death for myself. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. She's a girl. Oh shit. Sorry. Just like my uni. The first thing that came into my mind was maybe this girl will be the next to die. I skipped a bit. I'm sorry. And that was Saki Senpai. Yates. I've been following all the news about my uni, so I noticed right away that she was the girl who found my uni's body. And if my hunch was right, she'd be the next victim. I didn't want her to die the way my uni did. So I desperately kept watching. I was consumed with the idea of rescuing her. Then, little by little, her image on the screen came into sharper focus. It became sharper? She, that means she was in the TV at that point. How did you find out it was her? After I came back, my father couldn't bear to see me in such a appearance. He gave me a job at the family business. Ah. I met that girl when I delivered a package to the liquor store. That's right, the Kanishi liquor. Liquor, I think. believe the jack shit, did he? Nope, didn't think so. But that same night, on the TV. She appeared on the letter. She looked as if she was pain and ghost by some black shade. She was writhing in pain. That's why I warned her. Why won't you pick up the phone? Come on, please. We would never get this exposition if we didn't sh if we didn't sh if we shoved Namatame into the TV or lounge up out the damn window. The next day, they found her dead. Great. I knew she was gonna be murdered, but I couldn't save her. Thinking there must have been something I could have done. There was no one who depended on me. Nobody at work. Not even my wife. My Yumi was the only one who accepted me for who I was. And she was murdered. And the same person who killed another girl. I was I was beside myself. I couldn't forgive myself for doing nothing. Mm. You really did love Miss Yamano. Well, no shit! Yes. At the bottom of my heart. Before I was married, my wife made a big in show business. I was happy for her, but it put a strain on our relationship. Uh, I think I can kind of relate. Kind of, keyword. It was around that time when I met my lady. She was interviewing our candidate for the next election. She was a big name announcer, but she only worked with local stations, and her attitude towards work was similar to mine. We both came from Inaba, so she was easy to talk to. I know it was wrong, but I couldn't help getting intimate with her. She gave meaning to my life. Soon after Saki-san was found dead, yet another girl appeared on TV. That Ah. Uh, yeah, great. Happy fun time. Hey, here you go. Remember that whole thing about the TV show and the harem? She'll be kidnapped next. And murdered. I can't let her end up like my Yumi and that other girl. This time, I'm going to do something. My opponent was a murderer. He let no clues to his identity. Okay, so he wasn't told. Okay. I'll never convince her. If she gets suspicious and they arrest me, we'll save her then. The girl inside the TV looked as if she was smiling at me. Huh. And that's when it hit me. I apparently had the power to go through the TV screen to the other side. Then, what if I put her into the TV and get 
give her shelter there before the killer gets her. What are you trying to tell me? That it's safe over there? Is that it? Do you realize that's actually how they die? The girl inside the TV seemed to smile at me again. And I thought, no matter what kind of place it might be, it's better than being slaughtered. Once things calm down, I could just let her out again. If she's inside the TV, there's no way they can find her. It felt as if everything was starting to come together in my mind. Once again, the case of good intentions. It just doesn't end well at the time. It doesn't it really end with everything being all hunky dory. Misinterpretation. Fuck. Remember, also, remember when that rumor was just usually showing your significant other? Yeah, that was what he thought. Well, uh, his new lover, considering the relationship between his wife, was <laughs> already was already on its last last legs, I guess. Kind of this kind of pushed him to the edge, and he doesn't want another incident happening like that again. So yeah, he ain't gonna stop. He ain't gonna think about this. Jesus. Of course, why would they believe that somebody in the TV was calling out all for help, but uh, and yet they don't have it. Evidence. Thanks to my job, I had a large truck and I could move around without suspicion. I thought my job as a delivery man would be the perfect cover for my mission. I thought no one else could do it. Huh. But are you telling me that I wasn't saving them? I believe we believe again. Again, I'd like to reiterate, it's not that your intentions were bad, it's just you didn't really know what was going on in there. If a person is still within the TV world when the fog appears here, they will die. Beginning with Yukiko-san, the people you thought you had been saving were, in fact, in mortal peril. It was my friends here who really saved us all. When I went after that little girl and entered the TV myself, for the first time, I had some doubts about myself. You refer to Nanako chan, correct? Who else? The police were after me, so I had to get away. But I still felt I needed to do everything I could to save that poor little girl. Well, she's breathing right now. That's why I went in after her. But the TV world was completely different than I imagined. Such an abominable, grotesque place. <laughs> I knew that the three of you who I saved went back to your normal lives, so I didn't realize how terrible that world was. Uh -huh. I never knew you couldn't even get out of that place on your own. I thought it was going insane. Dude, you were about to jump out of the fucking window. And you know the rest? When I came to, I was lying in the hospital bed. You really were trying to save people. Once again, good intentions, just... Uh, they just don't end up the results you actually expected to. I ended up doing just the opposite. Then repent! Repent for your misdeeds! Not by death, but by continuing on with your life! I always wanted to enter the world of politics and become useful to society. But after losing my job and the woman I loved, all I had left was 
against this power. I convinced myself that world was some sort of sanctuary. And I secretly believed myself to be a hero. <laughs> Well, Nanako being getting uh, doing the shit. I mean, you're kidnapping and uh, Nanako nearly hitting, uh, nearly being being put on death's door or step. Yeah, you are to blame for that, but not for the killings though. What's done is done. There's no turning back. There's no turning back. There we go. Step one to redemption. That's always the same way. We must apologize to you as well. Not gonna lie, all this has been nothing more than an info dump episode. Uh, should I say it's just an info dump episode? If we let our emotions blind us to the truth, we would have piled all the responsibility on you. Yeah. You're killed them. I guess from your point of view, people did stop dying once you started saving people. The more you did it, the more you really believed you were preventing their deaths. Yeah, sadly, we were the miracle workers. The miracle workers. It's kind of sad that we were kind of the miracle workers on your on that end, to be honest. I mean... our plan. Do we not see the officer in the room or are we just muttering quietly? You've taken yet taken another step towards the truth. Seekers of the truth. Seekers of truth. Boop, 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 boop. Seekers of the truth. Social link has reached level three. Power to create personas of the judgment. Our has grown. Hey. We're getting at it. Jesus, we're talking to the man. Calm down, boy. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Come on now. Now we don't need to see that shit. Calm your tits. Uh Oh, how I wish I could use Midorama or something on her. This was the last place we saw Teddy, right? He was so worried about her. Don't blame her. Blame him. Shit. How can he play out like this when we have to find the real killer? I don't yeah. The police consider the matter closed. We'll have to do all the investigation from here on out. Let's revisit Saki-san and Miss Yamano's incident, and see if we can turn up fresh details. Alright. But it's been over six months. Wouldn't the trail be cold by now? You would think. I know, but we can't give up. We're the only ones who understand what's really going on. Yes. And you never know. People might remember some things now because they've had so much time to think about it. Yes. Let's split up and talk to people all over town tomorrow. We'll meet up in the evening to discuss our findings. Yes. We hope we can find out something about Teddy, too. Hmm. This is gonna be one... Tomorrow you're going, going to be... You'll all be going out... 
of the Tusk people in the town. Will this finally help uncover the information over the anime? <laughs> Again, I can't speak. Uh, will this finally un help uncover information that will lead you to the true culprit? You decided to go home early today and get some rest. Does this automatically? No. Okay, once again, this thing ends. Once again, the info dump. The info dump. The info dump. The info dump. Well, it looks like we're about to find out tomorrow that it's who the re killer, who, who the real killer is. And <laughs> I think we already got, I think we already know, assuming I have been spelling it out. But regardless, we, we can probably take a guess on who it is now. Although I've got to say this right now, I don't think my jump to conclusions was very helpful. If again, if it turns out I'm wrong, oh well. But again, like that weird mentioning, that that weird thing, it's just weird that a, how weird, extremely weird, how Adachi just straight up mentioned that it would be hard to convict someone by throw by the by the cause of murder being throwing someone into a TV into the TV. It's like, we never mentioned that to anyone. We kept that to ourselves, and if anything, we've only told oh, Dojima. And I'm pretty sure Dojima didn't want to spread that out around his colleagues either, so... Yeah. Oh, boy. This is gonna be fun. Ugh. Next episode's... Ugh. Next day in the game is gonna be very interesting, I'll say the least. Although I may have to take a look at, like, what was it, the boss, the Persona 4 bosses, and remember what the next boss is going to end up being, at least level-wise. I know technically I wouldn't end up knowing, but I just, I'm just i just going to take a quick glance at what the next level is going to be. And, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Uh, I probably might need to go some, might need to do some grinding, and that's all going to be fun and dandy now, ain't it? But anyway, I'm going to save the game and stop. Oh boy. Info dump. Info dump. Anyway, I'm gonna stop right here, and I do hope you enjoyed this video, despite the fact there's not really much happening besides dialogue. But if you did enjoy it, why don't you do me a f do me a f yeah. Either way, I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did enjoy it, do me a favor and hit that like button. Also, if you want to keep up to date to more videos I post on the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you feel like it, hit that bell icon to turn on notifications. With that said, I'll see you all in the next episode. Or in the next video. <laughs> Latest.